Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. This is John with Tommy's Top Picks here to bring you your flesh and blood market update. How is everybody doing? I hope you're doing well out there, enjoying this hobby, preparing yourself for the holidays. Hopefully, you get lots of packs in your stockings or wherever. Um, I wanted to bring up something in light of this holiday season. It's not really related, but it's kind of related. One year ago, as of the first week of January, Tommy and I started a podcast. So in celebration of 52 weeks in a row of doing podcasts, the first week of January, we will be doing a celebration podcast. I think it will be on the first, so it may be a little rough, depending on how hard the day before goes. <laughs> So uh, look forward to that. It should be a good time. We will uh, probably just look back on things and talk about that sort of stuff. We may have some more hot topics to talk about too, but either way, that's a celebration of our 52 weeks doing the podcast. So please, I uh, hope you uh, join us for that. Enjoy it and, uh, you know, uh, nurse your hangovers with us. Um, in celebration of this, we will be doing, or we are doing rather, a Discord uh, membership giveaway. Uh, usually we ask that you join the Patreon for the Discord invite, but if you'd like to join the Discord for one week, we have a time-limited link that will allow you to join. Uh, it should be in the description below. Hopefully I don't forget to add it. If I do, leave a comment and I will add it. Um, but yeah, so that is something that's going on for one week, or uh, sorry, two weeks until the end of the year. We will be doing that, so you have a couple weeks to get it done. Uh, join the Discord, join our community, uh, have direct conversation with us, play games with us. We play on TTS and various other ways all the time through there. We coordinate things. Um, it's a good time. Uh, you also do get market snippets and news kind of contemporaneously as opposed to once a week. So sometimes you'll you'll hear about things before they hit the... the uh, the videos and such so it might be a good way to get a little scoop on what's happening in the markets or what we're seeing in the markets anyways let's jump in um got a little bit to go over nothing too too crazy this week but uh worth talking it through uh so unlimited boxes arcane rising down 11.9 percent to 103 nothing really crazy there i'm pretty sure we've talked about this now the cool thing is and i think we were looking for this cool thing is is that it dropped down right we spiked up and above right arcane boxes we've been talking about this and how is this a new plateau is it not and one of the things you want to look at is when it comes down does it go below the previous high setting and the answer is yes but only by a dollar so that's pretty good right that's close enough in my opinion to qualify now the real question is does it hold does this go back up towards 120 range even if it goes to like 110, that would be very positive for this price uh, in the near term. It means that we really are seeing that next step. So this is the first test. Uh, let's test it a couple more times. And if we do test it a few more times and it holds at this, say, 103 level, that could be 104, it could be 102, you know, somewhere in that area. Um, then we're looking pretty solid on a new step on the uh, stairway to higher highs, right? Um, we'll look at the chart and I'll talk a little bit more about it there, but just wanted to point that out. It did what we said we hoped it would do, which is pretty exciting if you ask me. Uh, question is, does it go back up? Does it come back down? You know, what happens in between? Because we did get this new spot and then we tested the previous highs. And if it goes down again, then we're back to square one. If it goes up, um, then we're looking pretty good. We need a few more tests to confirm it, but we're looking pretty good for that next step up. Anyways, moving on, unlimited cases. Monarch's the only thing worth note, down 12.86% at 183. Uh, we've seen this. This is just back and forth like we've been talking about. Uh, it goes up, it comes down. It goes up, it comes down. Um, it is. It appears to be tightening in the upward trend, though, because the last low was 160. Now the low is 183, which is higher than this 179, which was a high. So maybe this is doing the step-up thing, too. I am not betting on that. I think this is just a chaotic situation right now in supply and demand. Uh, we'll keep an eye on this one, though. And Monarch is one of those weird ones just because of the print runs and everything else that happened. So... I'm not betting anything on this one at this point, but it is interesting to watch what happens here. Maybe it does end up being the next to go through the step ladder just due to, because Unlimited, again, we don't know how many they printed of these. If they had the word that their first run was too high, did they cut the run for Unlimited? We don't know. So it's possible this will follow art quickly. 
I'm not betting on it. I don't believe that it's that. Um, it could just be generic market um, stuff related to actually playability and things like that, right? All right, moving on. First edition, the more exciting area. Uh, well, more exciting in that it's first edition. There's cold foils. Uh, less exciting in that the market didn't do as much. Um, so, well, I guess that's not fair. It did It did similar. It did similar. All right, crew first edition box uh, down 6.4% to 351. Uh, this is a new low for quite some time. Uh, as you can see back here, we were at 375 was the new low for quite some time. Um, 351 is even lower. So if you're looking for crew first edition boxes, remember they do have coal foils that are worth something in there. Um, this may be a good time to grab those, but it is not financial advice. So just take that with a grain of salt. Uh, Everfest up 26.19%. Uh, what? <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> I have no idea. We've seen some volatility here. Uh, it's really early for Everfest. I mean, we're still coming off a of map. There's a ton of supply. This isn't 2.0 product. So what? I, I don't know. I have no idea why this has jumped up. If anyone know, let me know in the comments. Uh, Brainstorm Kano wants all the potions? I, I don't know. I have no idea. I'm very curious. Uh, yeah, no idea. Anyways, moving on. Uh, it's a strange one, though. Uh, moving on to cases. First edition case Everfest jumped 11%. So that's two Everfest jumps at the same time. Um, this one's less curious. It did have a big dip down to 197. It jumped back up. It did not reach its, all, its previous high. So this is still on a downtrend. That's what you expect. Volatility on the downward trend. That makes sense. That does make sense. But this is this one's a little weird. This this chaos here. Um, I guess this high is lower, so we could see this is a step down, and maybe a supply shock, supply shock, and a step down. We'll have to look at that chart on that one. Um, one thing I wanted to bring up, which I thought was interesting, is this uh, Tales of Aria. Tommy pointed this out. Now it's not anything too crazy, but Tales of Aria Blitz Deck Display Case. Is currently only listed with one listing at $789. Makes no sense. One of these is going for like uh, 80 I think. So like one-tenth of this and six of them is going for 10 times what one is. It makes no sense. Um, to be fair, see market price is only 400 And if you click through, the last one that sold was around 400 which I think is a much more reasonable price. Um, still a little high, but that's much more reasonable. Um yeah, so don't buy it for this price. I'll tell you that. This product can be reprinted. There's literally nothing of just like specific value in there. There's a couple of cards that people like out of it. Like I think the um here's a foil or something. I can't remember. There's a few things in there that are like, oh yeah, these are a little more valuable than your basic one. Um, but nothing crazy. Certainly not this price crazy, right? No random. Uh shoot. Uh I think Ball Lightning's in Briar too, which is illegal, so the Blitz deck isn't even legal anymore. I'm not sure, but point being, that's a crazy price. Uh, thought it was interesting. Tommy pointed it out. He found it, and I was like, wow, that, that makes no, no sense at all. Uh, don't buy it for that price. I'm sure it's available somewhere else. Go to your LGS. They probably have a bunch of them. <laughs> I mean, it's not exactly a limited product. It's the Tales of Aria Blitz deck. Anyways, uh, let's check in on the cards. What do we got here? Um... So we were talking about this yesterday, Tommy and I. Oh, I got to do the filter. Uh, the cold foil of this has come down quite a bit recently. This is the Assassin Boots. Oh, okay. I lied. It's jumped. It's jumped back up. Tommy, you're safe. Now you'll see it did play or pay, uh, it did sell for 135. There was one, I think at 120, maybe they pulled it. Yeah, and we have 150 sale. So it was drifting down for a while. But it looks like someone bought them up or pulled the pricing, and now we're back up to 160. So good job, Tommy. You don't have to feel as bad as you did yesterday. Prices are volatile. Um, <laughs> we were talking about because I think he bought his at like a little bit higher than that, and uh, and it was like 125 listing or something. He's like, oh, oh, it hurts. <laughs> so it's fine though. He's uh, he, he'll live. He'll live. Um, Surgical Extraction down to 35, so this is still drifting lower, which is nice. I think it should. The Command and Conquer is holding steady as predicted. I'm really sad about this, but I just uh, I don't really see it getting to the 200 range like the Eye of Drakai and all the rest, or Blood of Drakai. 
um, and all the rest because it's just higher demand and it's a usable card and I don't want to pay $500 for it, so I may never. Um, I'll keep an eye out. Maybe I'll get to steal at three fifty dollars someday. <laughs> I doubt it. Uh, the Emperor, we were just checking that. Oh, yeah, it's down here at 930 Still, Still holding up there. There have been a few sales around that area, so I think that is the true market price. Uh, the Angel's still about 500 Too much for me, but I really do want it at some point. Maybe I'll get it. Maybe I won't during the next set. We'll see. Uh, this is stabilized. It had jumped up quite a bit, and then it came back down. Now it's a little bit higher. Um, this one may drift lower. I have a feeling that it's not going to be as popular. The one variance on that is we did just get a preview of the pits, and it does look like a mechanologist in the art, if I'm being honest. So maybe this goes with a new mech hero. It is about time for a new mech hero. Uh, so that's very possible that this ends up spiking as a playability thing, um, in which case I may never get it. Although I feel like I'll still I'll splurge and get this at some point. I mean, I'd probably pay up to 200 for that because it's reasonable. I just can't see myself paying 530 for this angel. It just doesn't make sense for me uh, to do that. The mech, I, I've liked Dash for a long time. I played Prism originally, but I never got deeply invested in her um, to the point of wanting just art. Um, Dash, I was, I was pretty invested in and still am. Um, I still like Dash quite a lot, so that's what that is. Um, the other Marvels are floating under 100, uh, not quite down to that 50 range that I'm thinking they'll land at, 50 to 30, depending on usability. Um, everything else is kind of where you expect it, kind of sitting there, hanging out. Um, yeah, nothing, nothing really special, honestly. So let's go back and check out the charts. All right, WTR, this is all uh, unlimited edition. Uh, so we have a stable new price here on the case value and a continued uh, premium there. Nothing special. Arc we were just talking about. So we do have a premium instantiated now with the uh, the case divided by four being 113. It's $10 difference between the box price of 103. Uh, so this is that chart I was talking about. You see how, let's see, I can't draw lines on this like you can on uh, regular TA uh, tools, but basically imagine a line from here going across, right? And it's hitting it. And if it bounces off of it, that shows support at this previous resistance. That's what they call that in charting is like when a price, you can't break through the price. You see it tried, it tried, dropped, it tried, it dropped, it did, right? It successfully broke through. Now the question is, does it hold up coming back down? If it, if it bounces off and goes up, that will be considered new support, not fully tested. You usually want to see it tested twice before you trust it as support, price support. Um, this is just TA stuff, which is, you know, a little bit of mumbo jumbo, a little bit of science, a little bit of uh, math and economics. It's, it's a lot of things, but um, so don't, don't take it as gospel because it's not, um, but it's just a tool for looking at what's happening in markets. And that's what I like to do. Um, so anyways, seeing it hit that, uh, that previous resistance as support, that's a good sign. Uh, with this upward pattern here, you see how we're kind of trending upwards before that. Uh, what that ends up meaning is that there's a high probability that this continues upwards, and then you may get this uh, slight ARB opportunity here when it reverses over top. Right now we're at a $10 premium, so I think I misstated that last time, sorry. Um, moving on to crew. Nothing special here. Premium's intact. Boxes are stable. This is all unlimited. On to Mon, we just said we wanted to look at this. What is there to look at? Well, the price is still climbing. It did come down to previous resistance and is holding above it. We'll see on that, though, because this could just be because of weekly data, right? Um, that is an ARB opportunity of $9, so probably not that good. And it's steady state there. That's so weird. Anyways, moving on. <laughs> Tales of Aria. Uh, Tales of Aria Unlimited. Uh, we dropped down, stabilized here. Uh, we've been in this range for a while, honestly. We just dipped below for a little while, so nothing really special to see here. Slight ARB opportunity. How much? I'm going to say $6. $6. A little bit less. Five twenty-five. Ever fast. Oh, yeah, duh. Man, I was so good at that for so many weeks, and then I screwed it up that time. 
disappointing. I'm a disappointment. All right, let's see what we got here. Um, we have the case of WTR, nothing special. And when we talk about the case divided by four, it's the same situation. It's been out for weeks. No one's doing that because there's not enough cases to do that. Arc premiums intact. These oh, I did want to point this out. Arc drifted down a little bit. So we were talking about good prices to buy a single box of Arc. You know, this felt really good. This still still feels really good. This is even better going down. Last time we saw one of these, I, I want to say it was in uh, WTR, uh, where it drifted, drifted, drifted. It spiked back up to its previous level. So I would not be surprised if maybe two, three weeks from now, we're back at 1300 and stable as a rock. Uh, that did happen with WTR uh, first edition a while back on the boxes. Crew, we were just talking about this too. Uh, massive premium. My God, yeah, this this box has fallen off a cliff. These cases have to come down. There's no way this lasts because it's just it's just dropping so hard on the single boxes. The cases have to come down. Um, let's go on to Mon. Nothing really special there. Staying at parity. And down to Tales of Aria's weirdness. Premiums intact. Boxes are super cheap. Everfest. Parity. I mean, not parity. Uh, premiums intact. Doing a dip and a, and a dive and a jump. It's Everfest, though. We'll see what happens. I mean... Okay, so that's what happened. Yeah, I was saying, what the heck happened? Why did it jump back up? It just reverted to the mean. It's fine. It's still on a downtrend. Yeah, okay. So I was just... Didn't put two and two together. That's all that happened. It just it had a dip and it's reverting to the mean on a downtrend still. Okay, so it wasn't as crazy. It was just the fact that it jumped such a high percentage. I guess it's because it dropped such a high percentage before. I should have noticed that. Mistake. Uprising is map steady as a rock. All right, that is it for this market update. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, like, leave a comment. Let me know. Uh, hopefully, I didn't forget the link to the Discord. Please join us there. Enjoy the conversation. Happy holidays if I don't hear from you. I guess you'll hear from me one more time before the end of the year, uh, and then you'll hear me on the podcast in the new year. So I hope you guys have a good holiday. I hope you're out there cracking packs, playing games, enjoying this hobby that we love. Until next time, have a good one.